The minute I started trying this, it started working immediately. And they don't want you to know because it'll make that much of a difference when it comes down to your weight loss journey. Try this today and it'll start working for you tomorrow. Guaranteed. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm your favorite weight loss coach here on YouTube. I've lost a ton of weight for a lot of people to see it, paid my dues, did my research and all of that. And now I'm here to coach you guys along the way of your weight loss journeys. I hope you guys, first of all, first of all, first of all, happy new year to you guys. I hope you guys are still on your journeys. Um, a lot of you guys I know got your starch solution books and all of that stuff and is on your weight loss journey and all of that and I'm excited to see it today. I have something to talk to you guys about that is very important and very crucial when it comes down to your weight loss journey. All jokes aside, this, this one thing is so crucial that I guarantee if you make the change, this will make a difference in your whole weight loss journey and level you up. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about that later on in this video. So you might wanna stay tuned for that if you wanna like propel your weight loss to the next level. I have some juicy information for you guys. I'm excited because my family is on the Starch Solution plan with me now, not to lose weight. Kids are on it just for health purposes. I always talk about this in the, these videos, but if you guys have not adopted something that's going to help you stay healthy, long term you are sleeping on yourself you are sleeping on your health you are sleeping on everything around you you have one body take care of it as much as you possibly can without fail i am telling you guys if any time is any time to get healthy now is the time to get healthy to lose your weight to become the best you that you can be you don't know what virus is coming next you don't know what is coming next so we are living in some very very uncertain times so take care of yourself take care of your kids your family family, your entire just household. Not only are you guys going to be seeing what I'm eating, you guys are going to walk away from this video. Two ideas for meals. You're going to be seeing what my family is eating and then you're going to be seeing what I'm eating as well. And today I'm going to be eating Dijon mustard shrooms. I think I'll put it right here. For potatoes, it looks so amazingly good and I love me a good potato. So I cannot wait to try that. And then my family is going to have some fully loaded burritos i'm talking about with you guys are going to walk away with the sour cream recipe if you guys are missing your sour creams and all of that stuff i'm going to show you some tips and tricks to help you if you're going vegan or going plant-based or whatever it is that you're doing help you to get those sauces back into your life help you to get that taste and that flavor back into your life because without the flavor you are not going to try to eat it don't try to eat healthy and then only eat salads that's not gonna work for you. It's not sustainable. You might see some water weight fall off, but then after that, you're gonna be back eating how you was eating before. The key to a successful weight loss is sustainability. Keep that in your mind. If you don't take nothing else away from this video, take away sustainability. They're eating tonight is vegan burritos, and on the burritos is some pinto beans, some corn, guacamole, um, some olives, vegan sour cream that I made from scratch right there. And I'll put the recipe right here on the screen for you guys. It's smoked paprika, lemon, uh, vinegar, silken tofu is the main ingredient, mushroom seasoning. And I'll put everything right there so you guys can make it. This is really, really good and a good alternative to um, regular sour cream without all of that bad stuff in there that I have adverse effects on your body. So this is it, everything right here wrapped it up and they absolutely love it. And then with my rice, I made some lime chipotle rice on there. It's rice, I don't know if I said that, but everything is so good. My stuff for my meal, I have my potatoes that I steamed already last night. I have them over there. This recipe calls for mushrooms, some um, soy sauce, but I'm using liquid aminos, some shredded carrots, onions, bell pepper, Dijon mustard pepper, and then I'm also adding in my mushroom seasoning. I absolutely love that stuff. It's a game changer when it comes down to your meals and giving it the, that umami flavor. So I'm about to whip this up, chop up everything, and then show you guys once it's done. Recipe calls for cornstarch as well, but um, this just is a thickener. You just mix it with cold water, mix it up, and then pour it in your stuff once it's almost completely done and on warm. So as you guys can see here, I have everything sauteing in the pan, except for the mushrooms. I'm gonna put that in once this wilt down a little bit. And I am not sauteing, as you guys know, 
and oil. What I am using is I always use, I'm using some vegetable broth and to saute it. You can use vegetable broth or you can use water. It's totally up to you. Honestly, this looks good all by itself with no seasoning in it, no cornstarch, none of that. I can literally like eat this by itself. I love mushrooms. A lot of you guys say you don't like them or whatever the case may be, I love them. This is looking delectable. Here it is after all the ingredients are added. And this reminds me of like a um, mushroom gravy. It smells so good. I got my plate. Now I'm about to give it a taste. You guys, this looks so good. It's so just like creamy from the um, sauce and all of that. It's so good. Let me try to get y'all a good look of it without spilling it. It's so, it's, this looks so good. I did, was I saying it is good? I don't know what it tastes like, but it look good. <clears throat> I'm about to try it for y'all. Bone appetite. We about to eat. It's still hot. Look at that. I can always smell so earthy and good. This is so good. Remember, I said it smells earthy. It tastes real earthy. It tastes the flavor is deep. Mind you, I don't know if it would have been this um, deep of a flavor if I wouldn't have put the mushroom seasoning because, like I said, it give that umami flavor. But try it either way. This is so good. The foods that we get to eat on the starch solution is just plain unfair. This food is just so good. And then you lose weight while you're eating it. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Dinner was great. I am stuffed. But I do want to get into um, talking to you guys about what I want to talk to you guys about as far as propelling your weight loss and uh, helping yourself to um, lose weight a lot quicker than you would if you don't do what I say do. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to do it or not. I'm not trying to bully you into doing what I say. But you guys heard me talk about this on my channel before and I'm going to be hitting on a couple of things. And um, I'm talking about oils, you guys. I'm not talking about fats, like healthy fats, like avocados and stuff like that. Because if you are already trim, if you eat avocados and olives and stuff like that and tofu, you're not going to like, you know, you're not going to be affected as much as someone who is trying to actively lose weight and um, who is eating these foods. So let's get into it. And I talked about fats um, as far as oils and stuff before in a video. But today, what I want to do is kind of dive deeper and show you guys <clears throat> how you are hurting yourself when it comes down to trying to lose weight when you're eating oil. So I'm going to screen record my screen right here right now for you guys. And then I'm going to go to Instacart to act like I am placing an order, right? And when I go here, I'm going to go to, um, let's go to Safeway. I already have a, literally an order in progress right now here at Safeway. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to type in, let's type in oil. And then cooking oil and stuff is going to pop up. And a lot of you guys like to try to eat quote unquote healthy oils. So let's go to a healthy oil. Let's say extra virgin olive oil. This oil is two, $22. I was about to say $200. $22, right? Now let's go down to the nutrition fact. I have to go to another one because I don't like when they say like the 15 ml and all of this stuff or whatever, whatever. I want you guys to see because a lot of times it's a lot of trickerization on food labels, right? And I want you guys to see cut and dry what, the, what these things are talking about. So... Let's see this oil right here that I'm showing you guys extra virgin olive oil when you sprinkle in look at this right here I'm going to screenshot it and then I'm going to circle it when you sprinkle one tablespoon of Extra virgin olive oil inside your food mind you you saute your onions and all of that with extra virgin olive oil You're not getting nothing out of that just a bunch of fat and calories, right? 120 calories not to mention if your meal is already 500 calories right i'm just pulling numbers out of my hat right now 
But if your meal is 500 calories and you add, that's a meal, that's a condensed meal, that's good. If you take, say, a, a plate of rice that's like 500 calories, which that's a whole lot of rice, you're not going to eat that much. But say, for instance, you take that amount of rice and you put 120 calories with that. You say, say you put two tablespoons of that in there. That's 240 calories that's unaccounted for that you're just sauteing up some onions with. This is added calories, you guys. Added calories that is nothing. This is the extra virgin olive oil. Don't taste like anything. It's not doing anything for your diet. It's not doing any of that. Anytime somebody tell you that, it's a lie. Do you guys research? Don't just believe these quote unquote people here on the internet. Do your own research. Cut this stuff out of your diets. Cut this stuff out of your baby's diets, your husband's diets. All of this stuff is not doing anything good for your body. If anything, it's harming your body because we're using it on a daily basis, pouring it. And you're not just using two tablespoons of oil. You're using four and five and six and seven tablespoons of oil. Because really, if you're thinking about sauteing something, what is one tablespoon going to do? Nothing. Nothing. When you chop up all your good onions, your veggies, one tablespoon is not going to do nothing. So what you do is add in a whole bunch. That's why I tell you guys, saute your stuff in vegetable oil, saute your stuff in water. You won't notice the difference. Cut this oil out of your diet. It's adding calories into your diet that's unaccounted for that you do not need. Say if you're on a, a 1700 calorie diet, right? Per day. You take out this oil, that's 240 calories, two tablespoons of oil that you're taking out. That you take that out. And your calories is knocked down and then you're losing weight a little bit quicker. Mind you, if you're on the starch solution, you're going to lose weight regardless. But a lot of times when you're on these meat diets and all of that, you have to um, pay attention to all the tedious details in your diet, right? So I'm telling you guys, take this stuff out of your diet. Like I said, not only will it help you lose weight, you guys will reverse a lot of your health ailments because this stuff is sludging through your body. That All that oil, it's not doing anything for you. And I can say it over and over. I could talk to you guys about research that has been done. I could tell you guys facts and evidence and all of that stuff. A lot of things that I like to look into now is science based in the truth, not just one side science, not just one side Research. I like to look in the middle of stuff. So take that oil out your diet. Once you do that, your weight loss journey will speed up. You'll you'll feel a lot better. You'll feel a lot less sluggish. Adding some starches into your diet. Look at the stuff that I'm eating. Take note. Do these things for you and your family so you guys can get healthier. You guys have seen my journey and like I swear by this stuff. It's, it's no way that I will go back to eating the way that I did before. It's just, it's for what? For what? It'll it just cost you your health. That's all. So think about what I'm saying. It's just food for thought. Play with it. Do the research you guys self. Try out what I'm saying. Just try it out for your health, for your weight loss. It's 2023. Stop playing with your health. Like I said earlier, try to do things that's going to help you to get where you want to get as far as your weight and then your health as well. Stop playing with your health. Stop playing with your weight.